Hello, my name is Johnetta DeVell and I am 29 years old. In mid-January, I found out I was pregnant with my second child. In hearing the news, I felt so overwhelmed because at the time, I was homeless and needed to seek shelter for me and my child. I was able to find shelter at the Coatesville Women's at the Coatesville CYWA. The thought of having another child was weighing heavy on me. And the thought of an abortion came to mind. So I reached out for help at the CCWS. When I came to CCWS, I came with intentions of finding out how far into my pregnancy I I was to see if abortion was an option. During the time at CCWS, I was counseled by staff to consider adoption or to seek help from other family members instead of going through with an abortion. Also, during the time of counseling, I was able to pray and ask God for guidance. The option of, a, of adoption was presented and I told a counselor that I would consider it and I would mention it to the father of my children. He was not in favor of it. So his response, I felt only the only way out was that abortion. So I went ahead and I called the local abortions clinic to make an appointment for the abortion. During the same time, a staff member from CCWS called to follow up about adoption. And I told her that I was going through with the abortion. Unknown to me, after the phone call, staff immediately prayed that God would do whatever it took to change my mind. And a couple of days after the prayer, I was in the restroom when I thought I felt a baby's heartbeat, not knowing that it was actually my baby's artery beating. And thinking that I was feeling the heartbeat of my baby, I came to a conclusion that I would not go through with the abortion. So I decided to call the CCWS to make an appointment for the ultrasound and I informed them that I was not going through with the abortion. I felt accepted, I felt welcomed, I felt like there was somebody there for me. At first they told me that I was carrying a fairly bigger baby and then they start rolling around doing the ultrasound and they're like, oh, it's not one, it's two babies. And I cried and he smiled and he's like so happy. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with two babies? I thought I was having one baby and I didn't know what I was gonna do with one. When I found out she was having twins, I was excited because I'm a twin. I cried and I got really, really overwhelmed because I was thinking about what we were gonna do because like I said, we were in, um, we were, I was in a shelter by then. And I decided not to by talking to some of the women at the Chester County Women's Services about um, how we'll go forward on, you know, my pregnancy. My greatest blessing is having the twins birthing the twins, going through the whole nine hours of like, you know, the labor, the delivery, actually seeing them and seeing how beautiful they were and holding them and just feeling warm and like, you know, being in my home, raising them. Cause at one point in time I was homeless. Chester County Women's Services actually have been a great, great, source of support, supporting me when um, I didn't have diapers, when I didn't have wipes, parenting classes, um, even with clothing, uh, if I ever needed to, you know, talk to someone, pray with someone, just help me, just guide me to being a better mother. Don't be afraid to talk to someone because there's always someone out there that's going through the same thing as you or worse off than you, and there's always help. And to just reach out and just believe in God because he will help you and he will heal you and time is every, patience is everything.